Okay, you guys, and welcome back to another lit video. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give me a thumbs up, you guys. Okay, you guys, we got Lolo King. Lola King, I'm sorry. My name is Lolo, but her name is Lola King. She is going to be giving you a tour today of her City Hall, yes, you guys, it took me three days to make this City Hall, you guys, but it is up and it is ready. So Lola King is going to give you this tour. So this is the outside, you guys. It's so cute. It's so gorgeous. Listen, look how cute that is, okay? So like I said, you guys, she may got, we may have a little area right outside City Hall. You know, when you have a protest and someone got to make a speech or whatever, I got you. I got you. Why you trying me? Okay. We got the podium out here. She's out here making this speech. Okay. All right. We got some bull horns. You know, when you get on the loudspeaker. And you're talking to everybody. You want to make sure everybody in the crowd can hear you. So, like I said, you guys, let me tell you, my Sims, they are going to love this venue. But let me tell you guys, they love any venue that you can make for them where they can just interact with each other and interact with objects and things. So, like I said, you guys, this is the city hall. You guys, look how cute that is. Okay, the whole city hall, it is literally, you guys, I think it got one um, basement. And then it has uh, five floors. Now, let me tell you what I do, you guys. What I do to get the gameplay that I want. Because let me tell you, I do not like rabbit holes. So, what I do, I go to Luna Lake. Don't know if you know what that is, but that's another expansion that came with Sim 3. And it's like you live in space at the moon. But anyway, all the buildings in Luna Lake are real tiny. And there's these little like rabbit hole portals so what i do i make a little area in the basement i put that down there in the basement and then i build up on the ground floor and up however many floors i want and then i have them and then i make the walkway the travel space to get to the rabbit hole i would interact everything i would build bathroom restaurant just whatever what i need but i'm gonna make it so they're going to actually have to go to all floors before they can actually get to the rabbit hole, you guys. So this is what you're looking at. So this is City Hall, you guys. It's so gorgeous. This is the first floor. On the first floor, you guys, we have the kitchen, a nice kitchen where you have a chef. You can sit there. You can order a wonderful meal. That's on the first floor. As you see, when you come into City Hall, you guys, you're going to see security guards. Listen, this is City Hall. Yes, we got police officers, uh, security guards, you know, just like you go to a real City Hall. That's what she's doing. She introduced herself. She said, hi, my name is Lola King, and I'm here to take my fan, which is us, you guys, on a tour. So they can see our city hall. She's like, hold on, you guys. I got a phone call. Hold on for a minute. Girl, what's up, girl? Girl, I'm at city hall doing the tour, okay? So, okay, you guys, we're going to get back to the tour. Now she is walking to the cafeteria, you guys. But before she goes to the cafeteria, she's going to stop off at the vending machine. Yes, we got two vending machines. Yes, yes. And the vending machines come from university. The expansions um, packed with university. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do my best as, as I'm describing my venues where I'm receiving everything from. So if this is something you want to do, you know where to get it. So like I said, you guys, she's in the cafeteria. And like I said, you see the shelf that came with um, Unusual Bistro, you guys. And that's something that you buy from the Sim 3 store. It's a premium content and it is amazing. You are going to see this feature in my game a lot. Yes, because I'm going to tell you, my Sim love to eat, and I love to make sure that they have what they need to eat. So, like I said, you guys, look at that cafeteria. It's nice. She put her order in. She has a menu. You sit at the table. You read the menu. You choose what you want. The chef will come out to you. You tell the chef what you want to eat, and look, the chef is bringing her her dinner, and I believe it's a snack, you guys. I believe she got an apple pie. Now, with this unusual um, venue, 
you get the chef stove. You see those nice big stoves back there? You can actually choose what you want to serve. Yes, choose what you want to serve. You can choose the hour that you want this chef station to be open. You can put as ever many as you want. I have two here because it's at City Hall. Small little City Hall, but it's nice. You can choose your hour of the day, the hour of the day that you want it to work. Now, one thing that I truly love in Sim 3, which is not in Sim 4, Sim 3 actually have venues that if you create them right and make them, it's going to become workable in your game and it's going to have times of the day that it's open. It's like realistic world. Like, you don't go to a grocery store and the grocery store is open at 12 in the morning. It's going to close a certain time, which I love that, which is going to put your sims on a schedule. So, like I said, you guys, so I believe these chefs here work here at this city hall. I got, think I got them working from like 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. So, now you guys, she don't ate her nice little meal. Looks nice, you know. Now she's headed to, I believe, the second floor. You guys, tell me how you like in the elevators. Nice, right? Yes. You guys, and like I said, you're going to see some bathroom. As she's coming by, I make sure I have plenty of restroom in all my venue. Because I'm going to tell you, these sims, they forever got to go to the restroom. And what we don't have in my game is incident. That's what we try not to have. So, you guys, she's getting off on the second floor. And let me tell you, you're going to love this. Yes. Again, you guys, there are security guards on every floor. It's City Hall. Why are you trying me? Let me tell you, what we don't have is criminals and things doing what they're not supposed to do. Now, we have them in the game, but you ain't making it past City Hall. Hello? Okay, so like I said, you guys, she has to go there. I believe she's going to introduce herself, and she's going to have a conversation, nice, friendly conversation with the security guard on the second floor. Again, letting her know I'm taking my fans on the tour so they can see the venue. Okay, you guys, on the second floor, how beautiful. If you want to get married, I got you. On the second floor, we have a marriage venue, a married area. Look, how beautiful is that? You have the nice, beautiful podium. You have the beautiful flowers arrangement. You have the nice, fancy chairs with the bow tie. You got beautiful all decked out in black and white. So when it's time to get married, if you don't want to have a, a yard wedding, a church wedding, uh, a boat, whatever wedding you don't want to have. Say you want to invite a little people and you just want to get married and say, oh, I got you. Okay. Who you know? I'll wait. So like I said, you guys, over here, she may, we may have the serving table. So after the wedding, you can have your reception right there. Yes, at City Hall. You can have your wedding, your reception right there. Look, we have the food. We had the fondue, not fondue. I don't know what you call that, you guys. But you know we had the little chocolate caramel fountain. So she's Lola's gonna go in and work it for you. Let me tell you, she's always eating and snacking on something. But like I say, you guys, so she's showing you that you can get some strawberries, or you could get whatever pineapple, whatever fruit you want on a stick, and you can have caramel on. You have chocolate. It's a lot of other stuff, you guys. But listen. We got plenty of time. Like I said, I have so much content. We're going to be doing a lot of venues, a lot of gameplay. It's just going to be really, really fun. But like I say, she's showing you how beautiful it is up here. So if you want your sim to have a wedding, this is just an idea what you can do. So you guys, that's what's up on the second floor. Other than we have the wedding chapel. And it's not just a wedding chapel. You can literally go there, you know, if you need to, you know, pray and everything. And you have the security guard. Now she is headed up, you guys, to the third floor. Now, on the third floor is the traditional city hall. You actually have a court. Yes, a court. Listen, you got to go to the, If you need a judge, I got you. So, again, she's going to introduce herself to the security guard up here. Let me tell you, every floor, there is a security guard, you guys. And let me tell you, there's a trick. Let me tell you, once you create your venue and you're going to get, I normally choose a book cash register. And then I put a little bookshelf somewhere. But once you put that cash register there, you're going to get these employees. At the time doing play mode, you shift click and you can edit these sims. Now you need to put in your cheat code. So I create my employees by editing them and putting them on their uniform. And pretty much you guys, as long as you got those cash registered there, your employee is always going to show up. Look, you guys, we got a judge 
Okay, yes. You got judge. You got, I don't know her name. Forgive me. But we got a judge here. She got her robe and everything, you guys. And like I said, you guys, this is a court. We can have a real court here. Did someone get in trouble? Somebody do something? Somebody want to sue somebody or whatever? I got you. They can come right here. Look, we got the court reporter. Now, our court reporter is the male. We don't believe in discriminating. Just like women can be a court reporter, so can the male. So, Lola King is showing you how everything works. She's sitting in the judge chair and listening. You saw the judge was not liking it. Well, she was ranting and stomping. Now she's coming up to the podium. Show you where the judge is saying, hey, 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 hey. Uh, she's showing you how that works. She's basically just going to show you how everything works up here so that you know it's very workable and it is playable. And you got this here. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like and make sure you subscribe because you got to admit this content is lit. Now, you know how you have somebody come up and you got to cross-examinate someone? There they go. They sit in that chair, you guys, where the judge can question them and say, hey, what's going on? I need you to raise your right hand and tell the truth. Now she's coming over here in the um, court um, reported area showing you how she can sit at the desk. We have some pen and pencils there, you guys. And you're going to always have a court reporter working. That's where we have the little rest register there. And like I said, you guys, there's a security guard always on at the station, on every floor. So like I said, you guys, this venue is amazing. So what she's doing now, you guys, listen, we may have the area for the jury. Why did we get a jury here? So like I said, you guys, she's showing you. She's going to go right here and she's going to go to the restroom, I believe. She's going to wash her hand because she don't been shaking some of everybody's hand. And let me tell you, it ain't the time to be shaking everybody's hand. Not even in Sam 3, okay? And we're going to leave it at that, you guys. So, like I said, you guys, this venue is so amazing. Now she is going to take you up on the, we have a fourth and a fifth level floor, which is um, two garages. But she's going to go up on the fifth floor. Now, granted, you don't see a driveway, but we just going to pretend, listen. Sim 3 is a life stimulation game, and you got to have a good imagination. So we're just going to imagine that they drove their car into the building and drove up four and five level to park the car. But as long as you got the parking area with the parking spots there, those cars will appear in your garage. Yes! Okay! So as you can see, we got the employees working. They have vehicles. So you guys, you already know, love ya, see ya.